So now I want to run through a benefit cost analysis example to help us for the FE or just our engineering economics class. So here we're looking at three alternatives and we want to select the best alternative based on this benefit cost analysis. So we know before we begin with the example, I want to make sure we define certain terms. So when we're comparing two or more alternatives, there's going to be something called the defender. It's essentially the current system or the current selective alternative. So it's the current system that we're going to compare to the rest of the systems that we're selecting. Then we have something called the challenger, which, which challenges the defender, right? So it's going to be the alternative that will challenge the defender. So we will compare the defender to the challenger and see which one wins. That's what we'll do using this benefit cost analysis. Then lastly, we have a do nothing option, which is also an option we have to consider initially. So we will look at that first as well do nothing option so the status quo system so we know when we're doing this benefit cost analysis if the benefit cost is bigger or equal to one the project is justified at the discount rate applied if it's less than one the project is not economically acceptable so that's just an intro and now let's begin with the example so it might take long because we have essentially three alternatives with two alternatives it's the same procedure but all you have to do is just compare two here we have three so the first step we will do is rank the alternatives in terms of increasing initial investment first cost increasing first cost so we're going to rank these from the least to largest right so let's write that we rank alternatives alternatives in terms of increasing initial investment initial investment so what this mean investment so here what we will do is essentially just I'll just draw an arrow we have increasing investment that goes down and the first thing that comes always is the do nothing option right we do nothing we have no benefits we have no cost we have no first cost so it's zero right so do nothing comes number one it's always on top do nothing so the initial investment for this one is just zero dollars, right? We're doing nothing. So do nothing is that. I'll denote it as DN. Do nothing. The second one is going to be which one? Which one is going to be the next one? It's two, right? Alternative two. So we're ranking from increasing initial first cost, initial investment. So we just write alternative two. The next one is which one? The alternative one, right? So alternative one, then the last one is alternative three. So we just do that and rank these. So that's step number one. Let's do step number two. Now what we do is compare the first two alternatives on incremental basis using this benefit cost analysis. So let's write that. This is step two and we compare the, the first two alternatives and I'll just write first two alternatives on using the benefit cost analysis analysis so here we know the first two are which ones it's going to be the first top two right it's going to be the do nothing versus alternative two those are the first two that we're going to compare so let's write that we're going to compare do nothing dn versus alternative two
So we know here that we're comparing do nothing versus alternative two and the do nothing is going to be the zero dollars, right? It's the initial investment and we know that is going to be our defender, right? That's what we're going to start with. That's our defender. It's the current alternative that we want to select. Then what challenges that it's going to be the next investment, which is alternative two. So we're going to compare the defender to the challenger and using the benefit cost analysis, if it's bigger than one, we know that the defender doesn't win. That means the do nothing option has to get eliminated. And what wins in that case will be the challenger, which in this case, alternative two. But let's justify that using math and calculations. So we're comparing do nothing, the defender, to the challenger. We're comparing the first two, do nothing, the top, to the challenger, alternative two. So what we do is we know we write the main equation, the change in benefits divided by the change in costs. So here we have to have the change in benefits divided by the change in costs because we're comparing two things, right? And we know we take the benefits of two minus the benefits of do nothing. So we take the benefits of two minus the benefits of do nothing divided by the cost of two minus the cost of do nothing. So let me break these down and find benefits and costs. So for the benefits, benefits, we will have the benefits of two, right? So the benefits of two is simply what in this case? We're looking at alternative two. You just pick the 260,000, right? Benefits per year. So we have to be careful here. It's per year, per year. I see per year more. So I'm going to have to convert this first cost to a yearly value, right? But this is a cost and we'll get to that. So here is year, year. So we're going to focus on everything per year. So we're going to take this value of 260 and that's going to be the benefits of two. So it's going to be the 260,000. So we have this. Let me check that off. Now let's do the benefits of do nothing. What's the benefits of do nothing? The benefits of do nothing is just zero, right? We have no benefits. So it's just zero dollars. So for the cost, let's do the cost. We know the benefits of the cost too is going to be for two, right? So what's the cost here? Let's look. It's going to be for two. It's going to be the first cost, the initial investment. But we know this first cost occurs at the present. So we will need to convert this to an annual value, right? And we'll do that using the tables. We should be good with that for econ. So this is the first cost. We need to convert it to annual. And we have the annual costs in this case maintenance and operation costs annually is 60,000. So this value is okay. It's per year. We're okay. It's 60,000. But we do need to convert the first cost. So we know the cost for two, we're focusing on two, is going to be, I write the total equation real quick. It's going to be the first cost times the annual P. So we're going from P to annual, right? from the present first cost to annual. We have to do that and we do 10% for how many years? 20 years. So all these values are given because we know it's going to be 10% per year and it, life is 20 years for each case. So that value doesn't change. So then that's going to be that for the first cost, but we know we also have the annual. All we do is just add it, right? So we just add the annual cost. So let's do that. So C2, the cost for alternative two, the first cost is going to be that value of one five zero 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 zero. So it's going to be the one million five hundred thousand. Then we take that multiply. We're going from P to annual at 10% for 20 years. So these are in the tables, right? And the value you should get at 10% for 20 years going from P to annual, from present to annual, is this. So this is what I got from the table. So we multiply by this value here in this. 
Then we just add the annual cost. So the annual cost is 60,000. So it's an annual value, so we just add it, right? So that is going to be this value, right? For two. So then we can just do the math for that. The cost for two is about two, three, six, two fifty. So this is the cost for two annually per year. This is the cost per year for 20 years. So now let's quickly do the cost for do nothing. So let me check these off. This is good. This is good. Now let's just do the cost for do nothing. What is that going to be? That's going to be zero, right? We have no cost when we actually do nothing. So it's zero. So we have all the values. Now let's just use this equation and see what's the value, what value we actually get. So we do delta, the change in benefits divided by the change in cost. We take the benefit two. So we always take the benefit two minus the benefit of do nothing. Benefit two is going to be this. So we take the 260 thousand minus the benefit of two nothing which is zero then we do the cost so the cost of two is going to be this value so 236 250 minus the cost of do nothing is zero so we do that math and we should get about 1.1 what does this mean so this 1.1 is bigger than one right and what we're doing is comparing the defender to the challenger. What happens here, the challenger actually wins. So do nothing is going to get eliminated and our new defender becomes alternative two. So now we are selecting alternative two. So here we can write that we have to eliminate the do nothing option and we know we select the thing we're comparing to which is the challenger alternative 2 so alternative 2 essentially becomes our new defender so we select alternative 2 so alternative 2 once again is the new defender so now this defender alternative 2 is going to get compared to alternative 1 right so now we're at alternative two, we're gonna compare it to alternative one using the exact same steps. So now let's proceed. And the next step is we compare our new defender, which is alternative two to alternative one. So I'll call this step number three. And let me, yes, so let's call it three. And we compare in this case, Again, our new defender, which is what we selected, alternative two, alternative two, two, which alternative? The next alternative on that increase in investment, right? It's alternative one. So that's alternative one. So now we know we do the exact same steps so we take alternative 2 versus alternative 1 and we do the change in benefits divided by the change in cost in this case it's going to be the benefits of 1 minus the benefits of 2 divided by the cost of 1 minus the cost of 2 so now let's find the benefits and the cost so let's do the benefits and can begin with the benefits of one so the benefits of one alternative one is going to be which value we go back to the table it's just this per year so 269,000 that's 269,000 now we do the benefits of two which is something we already have right we already determined that here but it's just in the table once again the benefits is 260,000 260,000 now the costs so we do the cost of one again we do the same exact step we do the first cost first so I'll write it again first cost 
then we multiply by what? We're going from present to annual. So we're going to annual from present at 10% for how many years? 20 years. Then we do what? We add the annual cost. Annual cost. Once again, the this is for one, right? So let's focus on one, this column. And we do the first cost, and this is the annual cost, right? So we plug in those values. So the cost of one. So the first cost in this case is going to be 1,600,000. And we do multiplied. This value does not change from what we already determined from the table. So it, again, it's the same. It's 0 0.1175 plus the annual cost for alternative one is 50,000. 50,000. So this is the cost for one, and we get about 238. Thousand. So now what's the cost for two? The cost for two was already actually determined, right? We found it here. So we just take this value. That's the cost for two. So the cost for alternative two is going to be the 236, 250. So we have that. Now we just do the change in benefit divided by the change in cost. So we do the benefits of which one? One minus the benefits of two divided by cost of one minus the cost of two. So we do the benefits of one. So it's 269,000 minus the benefits of two, which is 260. And we take that divided by the cost of one, which is going to be this value, 238. And we do minus the cost of two, which is 236, 250. So we can plug all of that and we get a high number of 5.14. So what does that mean? Again, we have to go back. We know the defender is this alternative two, the challenger is alternative one. And since we have a value of 5.14, we know the challenger now wins. We know alternative one is going to control and we eliminate the alternative two. Since, again, this value is bigger than one. So therefore, we can write that we eliminate eliminate alternative two and we select the new alternative select alternative one which becomes our new defender right we select alternative one so no now we know alternative one is what we're selecting so now we have alternative one and the last step is to compare alternative one to what alternative? Alternative three. So here I wrote two, but this is three. So we rank these. So we know we're at alternative one and we compare it to alternative three, the very last alternative. So now we know alternative one is what's controlling at this moment. And we do the exact same steps once again. So I'll call this step four. And what we do here is compare our new defender which is which one? Alternative one, right? So we compare alternative one to alternative three, the very bottom investment, the most investment. So we can do that. We just do alternative one versus alternative three. We do the exact same thing, delta benefits, delta costs, and this is going to be the benefits of three, the final minus the initial minus the benefits of one divided by the cost of three minus the cost of one. So do the same thing, the benefits. And for that, let's say we have the benefits of three is going to be two, eight, two, zero, zero. So we know 282,000 and that's going to be for theory, right? Just the benefits. And these are the values for the cost and the annual. So 
we do that for the benefit of three and the benefit of one I'll just write that again the benefit of one using the table it's in years so we're, we're okay it's 269,000 269,000 and we take that and then we take the cost of three and what we do is the first cost which is going to be the one million nine hundred thousand the first cost times which value of 0 0.1175 then we add the annual cost which is the 35,000 right so it's the same procedure as what we've done first cost annual cost but don't forget we're converting everything to the annual and these are all the costs involved for that alternative three the costs so we do the cost for alternative three is going to be about 258 1250 so we have that now let's do the cost for alternative one what is that going to be we already determined that right so where was that the cost for one was here right so we found this here so we just take that value and plug it down there so that one was already found from the last step so it's 238 zero 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 so now we do the delta benefits divided by the change in costs, delta cost, and we do the benefits of which one first? Three. So the biggest value minus, sorry, we do the benefits of three. Yeah, the biggest value minus the small value. So 282 minus the 269,000. And the uh, changing cost, we take this minus this. 258, 250 minus the 238,000. So now we do the math for that, and I got about 0 0.64. So this is going to be less than 1, right? When the value is less than 1, what did we say if it's less than one it's not economically acceptable so what that means what we were doing was comparing this defender and this is the challenger alternative three this tells us alternative three does not win because the value that we got when we did the benefits divided by the cost is less than one so we know alternative one is going to stay the defender wins so in this case we would eliminate which alternative we eliminate alternative three right eliminate alternative three and finally we've compared everything so this means we select alternative one and this will be our answer based on this benefit cost analysis we select alternative one so from the choices it should be b and that's it thank you